I am here in Las Vegas, Nevada at CES and I'm not gonna lie, the brand behind me, Peterbilt, I did not know about them until I literally bumped into uh, those two trucks that are behind me. They're fully electric. Um, now, they're not this Tesla semi-truck competitors. That's what I thought at first. Um, one of them has actually been specifically designed um, for uh, the one of the port authorities uh, uh, purposes. Um, and the other one is essentially a, a daily delivery truck. And as you know, those don't require as long of a range. Uh, Mercedes-Benz and Volvo had already come up with their with their versions of it and they've been successfully selling them to their clients again the range is not does not need to be three four five hundred uh, miles like you would with a little you know, long distance semi trucks um, but there's one thing that I was really surprised uh, 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 what they told me why they decided because they make trucks they make you know diesel trucks um, they decided to go with electric now before that let me just tell you that this uh, this the one uh, to the closest one to me uh, has two 74 kilowatt hour batteries um, and it can fast charge in just one hour which is a pretty good deal um, active thermal management system um, are you listening Nissan uh, so and the other one is a kind of a custom build they're probably not going to produce them uh, beyond what they're making right now so it really doesn't matter there's this uh, stats I believe that one is actually um, 130 mile range this one the closer one to me is a hundred mile range uh, with a full load by the way when we're talking about range with trucks really with a full load um, but the, the the reason I wanted to make this video because you know I think they're selling like maybe 30 of them just this year because it's a special order the reason I wanted to make this video something much bigger than these trucks or this this brand uh, before um, I tell you what it is I want to remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex the aftermarket accessories for Tesla there is a discount code in the description of this video go ahead and grab it and save yourselves a few bucks now the reason why these trucks were made by this company is not because they were trying to compete with Tesla or because they trying to get some new investors none of that it was their existing customers who asked them to start making electric cars, uh, trucks. Now, how awesome is this? They, they, you know, this is exactly what I really, really wanted from, from this whole electric car movement, right? When it's not the manufacturers that are saying, well, let us put it out there and see if there's a demand. Maybe we can convince people to buy it. This is where their customers saying, hey, we need electric uh, uh, trucks and, and, and hey, please make them for us. Um, now, Granted that a lot of it is government regulations. Uh, they need to make sure that their delivery trucks or their working trucks are not emitting as much diesel crap as they've always done. Um, and this is where, you know, innovation crosses with regulation, right? This is where governments of different countries, um, cities, counties, and the states and provinces and so forth uh, are creating regulations for their own people, for, for their own, uh, you know, breathing so they can breathe they're realizing that it is poisoning themselves and their children and they want to make sure that we start kind of moving away from that uh, I mean all of us has kind of experienced and it's kind of funny as we're standing in this area there's a delivery area next to us and I can smell diesel fumes and this is exactly uh, what these guys are trying to solve so I think that uh, what, what exciting uh, the exciting thing about these trucks is not really the trucks it's the demand that's coming from the other side now and that is awesome let me know what you think in the comment section let me know uh, if, if you think that this is yet another good way how how this whole electric car revolution is really uh, going and you know going into the industries right these are pretty like uh, conservative uh, conservative industries you know delivery and manufacturing and so forth when they're starting to get on board that makes me very happy and hope you as well let me know in the comment section what you're seeing other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged